Okay, in this next video, I'm going to show you how to um, enter data into R and do some basic analyses. Now, you remember from the last video, um, I can create variables like this um, x equals uh, 3 plus 2, okay? And then over here, it tells us that x is equal to 5. Now, variables in R can also be lists of things. For example, I can do x equals 1 to 20. And now you see I have the variable x is now not just one number, but a list of these numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I come back to the console and type x, I get the whole list of them. You can also use um, letters as well as numbers. So um, I could have, for example, y equals, and then I put uh, quotation marks to make, uh, to make it a character rather than a variable. Okay, so now you see over here, y is s. Okay, and now I'm going to show you a, a function in R. Okay, um, one function you can use is the rep function. And this function just repeats something. So if I type s, and then I type 20, and I hit go, I get s 20 times. And if I do this same command, but I make uh, y equals this, now you see over here I have 20 characters of s. Now these commands in R, they are always um, some letters, like um, in this case it's rep for repeat, and then parentheses, and then a number of parameters in here. And one thing I like about R Studio is over here, there's a, the help file, um, which I often use because I often can't remember how to um, do the stuff. So if you type in REP, you'll see, okay, there's the REP function, replicate elements of vectors. Now one bad news here, the help function in R um, is sometimes a little hard to understand uh, for beginners. Um, and actually, until you get good at it, you're going to have a lot of trouble. But here it'll give you the, the syntax, um, repeat, and then the, what you're going to repeat, and then some other things here. And then you'll see down here, like uh, down in here, the dot, 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 you can put how many times you repeat it. And then at the bottom of this, there are um, examples. And you can actually take these examples and then copy them and come over to the console and just paste them in and then see what happens. Okay, this repeated one, two, this one colon four means one, two, three, four, and then two times. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the help files. Another place I recommend for getting basic help with uh, R commands and learning how to use it, um, uh, this is how I learned a lot of things, is this website, uh, two tutorials. This uh, um, Anthony Damico, I think is how you say his name, has made these uh, two-minute tutorials showing uh, lots of little things um, that you can do in R. There's quite a few of them here, and um, I found those quite useful. So, I recommend that. Okay, one more thing before we get started. I'm going to show you here how to enter some data and make a, a data set in R that we can work with. One thing that we should do before that is typing in the console. If you make mistakes, which you can definitely make mistakes, um, uh, you could, for example, uh, just type repeat s and it'll say object s not found. Okay, so um, sometimes it'll give errors, then you have to go back and type it again. Um, and as R gets more and more complicated, you'll find this very frustrating. So if you come up here to the upper left, you can start an R script. And then that puts a window up here where you can type in code, for example, 3 plus 2. And then on that line of cl code, click Run, and it will send it down to the console. 3 plus 2 is 5, and it runs it. Okay. So I find uh, this is really useful. And... Um, you can also put a uh, hashtag and make a comment. Um, enter some data into R. Okay. And you can save these files. If you click on the save, then you can uh, um, give a name to it and save it somewhere. 